So let's take a look at how strings actually are built. So strings are really just lists of letters that uh, are, are put together. So we can actually look inside those lists to figure out what those are. Now, obviously something this small, I could count it, right? I could say Alice is this many long, one, two, three, four, five, right? Okay, um, but that's not telling the whole story. First of all, we are programmers, so we always start at zero, right? So Alice, starts with zero, and I can prove that um, by this little piece of code right here. So inside of this bracket, what I'm doing is I'm saying, show me the index number that matches, or show me the letter that matches the index number zero. So when we reach over here, and you can actually see this right, right at once, but we'll do it again, we can see that what it prints out is A. Well, that's because the index number here is zero. Right? So as you might guess, the index number for L would be a one. So if I wanted to print just that, I could say, okay, well, show me just the first numbered index. So index zero, index one, index two, index three, index four. That's the way that works. And we can do some really interesting things with that. For instance, I could say, well, show me the index number, uh, let's say one plus two. Now, what do you suppose I'm gonna get with that? Right, so it's gonna show me index number one, which is the L, and then it's gonna to add to it two. So I see two not through, and I, so I get the C. So one plus two is three, good. And so zero, one, two, index number three. So that's how strings are put together. We can do everything um, simply by looking at those index numbers. So when we start slicing up strings, you'll see very quickly how these index numbers come in handy.